Hello and welcome back to Star Trek is Life. If you missed my previous video covering Law's attempt at humanity, please remember to watch it later. In this video we will be discussing Law's proposed separation from the Enterprise, her death and her legacy. When Starfleet Research and Development learned of Law's existence, Vice Admiral Anthony Haftel, a cyberneticist himself, attempted to separate Law from Data in order to study her more closely. Aghast at the idea of her working in 10 forward, he believed the Daystrom Institute Annex on Galore 4 would be a better environment for her. Law was then interviewed by Admiral Haftel and agreed that his facilities would be beneficial to learn, but only after having completed her learning aboard the Enterprise with her father, Data. Unfortunately, this proposed separation only caused Law distress. And while speaking with Deanna Troy, she began to feel fear over the impending separation from her father. Her programming perceived a malfunction, causing her to return to the Enterprise lab as she had been programmed to do in the event of a problem. Okay, now let's move on to the circumstances surrounding Lull's death. Upon running diagnostics, Data identified the problem as a symptom of a cascade failure in her neural net. With the assistance of Admiral Haftal, he attempted to repair the damage. However, despite their best efforts, the effect was irreparable, and Law's neural net failed. Admiral Haftal described the experience to awaiting LaForge, Troy, and Wesley Crusher. There was nothing anyone could have done. We'd repolarize one pathway and another would collapse, then another. Data's hands were moving faster than I could see trying to stay ahead of each breakdown. He refused to give up. He was remarkable. It just wasn't meant to be. As Law was dying, she expressed her love for her father and thanked him for creating her. She succumbed to complete neural system failure, after which Data deactivated her. And now let's discuss the legacy that is Law. As a final act following her death, Data transferred Law's memories and experiences into his own brain, ensuring a part of her would live on. By 2368, Starfleet had come to recognize that Law was Data's offspring, and this was reflected in the Crew Manifest database file for Data. Interestingly, the symptoms of Law's shutdown achieved something Data had been trying to accomplish for many years, basic human emotions. It would be five more years before Data would achieve the same results in himself, and this was only after implanting a new chip created by his father. Although Data also suffered a neural net failure as a result, he recovered and was able to function normally afterwards, even able to toggle the ability to feel emotion on and off at will. Understandably, Law remained in Data's thoughts for many, many years after. During his experimentation with painting, Data painted a portrait of Law, which he showed to Juliana Tainer, essentially Law's grandmother, when she visited the USS Enterprise D in 2370. Despite her unfortunate death, he still wished to procreate again sometime in the future. Thank you for watching. If you like the information in this video, please consider subscribing to this channel. And remember, Star Trek is life.